Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be discussing the edge functionality of the Galaxy Note 7 and the Galaxy S7 Edge. So as you see here, one of those is currently running. I'm um, going we'll to be discussing that in a minute. But there are a lot of cool things that you can do with this, even you guys who are on the phone might not know about. So I'm going to be discussing the difference between the two similarities and also how they differ versus flat screens that most smartphones have. So just in terms of features, uh, one of the features that you can add is a night clock. And here's what that looks like in the settings. So you go to display in the settings and then you have this option for night clock. So you can t uh, decide what time you want it to run from. I just have it right now from 12 until uh, 6 a.m. just so I can show you guys because it's the afternoon. But normally you want this at night time. So the clock displays here on the side of it kind of hard to see when we turn off the light. So the idea of this is you can see the side of the screen, you can see the time and stuff when you're sleeping. Uh, pretty cool feature, this is part of the always on display. Now for the screens themselves, uh, obviously both have edges on the sides, both sides of the phones left and right. And also both have virtually no bezels. So really nice the way they look, and I'm going to talk about the functionality in a second. So some of those features, uh, probably the most well known is you can go like this. And then you get access to certain pages. So here is different apps, contacts, and then task edge, um, a bunch of them. And then this is for places. So I actually haven't set this one up, but uh, let's say if you want like different things to display on here, different times of the day, like when you're at your workplace or home or whatever, you can customize that. And then you got stocks, uh, sports, Yahoo News. I mean, really, there's pretty much anything you can imagine is on here. And if you want, you can add more by going over here. Then check off what you want. There's also the store. So some of these are free, some of you have to pay for, but just an example. And then this also works when the screen is locked. So it does have to be on, but you can access it like this. And you can put it on the left or right side. So that's called Edge Panels. Uh, it also works on the S7 Edge. And from what I found, it's mostly the same content that you have here. Um, so the next one is called Edge Feeds. So if this, now I put up, uh, I put the regular always on display back on. I took off the night clock. But if this, you rub the side of it. And you see now you get options here. So right here, it just displays news. You can click on it if you want to. Uh, see more. I have the stocks. Uh, and you can choose what you want. I also have sports on here. Now I don't have any notifications, otherwise they show up. And again, same thing on the S7 Edge. So again guys, it's, I mean, <clears throat> I know some people might think it's a little bit of a gimmick, but personally I still use it from time to time. And then the one I was just showing you is called Edge Lighting. So that's when you put your phone down like this. And then when you're receiving a call or notification, so right now I'm calling my phone. And you get this very cool effect on the sides. So again guys, that's available on the S7 Edge as well. So if you want to access all this, just go into Settings, go into the Edge screen. And then you have these three things I discussed, edge panels, edge feeds, and edge lighting. Uh, again, guys, all these are available on the S7 Edge as well. Although what I've noticed is that the S7 Edge, or rather the um, Note 7, has a more updated version that's not available yet on the S7 Edge. So I'll pull it up real quick. So you see here at the bottom, if you go to About Edge Screen, you see the version number. Both are apparently up to date, although the Note 7 is a little bit more advanced, so assuming there's more features on there. Although I don't think they're major features just from what I've seen so far. 
And also one more thing. So if you go here, you go to settings. This is on Note 7. A little bit different on the S7 Edge. Just in terms of accessing it. So on the S7 Edge, just what I'm about to show you is located down here. Uh, the handle settings. But on a Note 7, you go here to the top right corner. And then you just go to handle settings. So you can choose some things like where you want the, um, the bar located on the right side or left side. Alright guys, so now let's talk about some of the differences between the two. So first and foremost, the S7 Edge has more of an edge screen to it. Uh, the edge is just more pronounced. And I'll show you how both of the sides look like. So I'm not sure how easy it is to see on camera. Uh, although the uh, S7 Edge, it is more of a curve to the side. You can definitely tell that when you're using it. And so obviously there's some advantages, uh, some advantages to that. Although one thing I've found is it's really easy on here to hit the side of it, like with the palm of your hand right here. So I've done that plenty of times. Now, if you have a case on it, you're not, that's not going to happen. But if you don't have a case, it's pretty easy. Like, let's say if you're reaching for something over here to accidentally hit something in the corner screen by accident. But on the Note 7, just because it's less of a curve, the phone is also a little thicker. It's a little rounder. It doesn't happen. Um... So it might be different for each person, of course, but that's at least what I found. Really, only if you're like intentionally trying to do it like I just was, you're going to hit it. But aside from that, like if you're just typing on it or something like that, you're not going to accidentally hit the screen. And here's just another look at the sides here, trying to let you guys see the difference between the edges. Again, it's hard to see on camera, but the Note or the S7 Edge is definitely a little bit more curved on the side. Now, kind of going along with that, the S7 Edge also is rougher on the side. So this part right here, uh, kind of a little bit sharp. Definitely very noticeable when you're holding it. Not as comfortable to hold. This, both sides are sharper. And on the Note 7, now this is thicker, but it's extremely curved. Pretty much the whole thing is very nicely curved. So uh, it's certainly more comfortable to hold the Note 7 than it is with the S7 Edge. So for the most part, I mean, I've owned these phones. I've owned the S7 Edge since launch. Got this about a month ago. Uh, both these phones, I really enjoy the Edge part of them. I think that both these screens are better than any of the other phones I own. Uh, but there are a few disadvantages, so one of them I just mentioned, if you don't have a case on the S7 Edge, it's pretty easy to hit the sides of it by accident. Um, also, so for both of these phones, uh, now the S or the Note 7 does have Gorilla Glass 7, or rather Gorilla Glass 5, but if you drop it, it's much more likely that the side is going to break, so the side of the screen is more susceptible to damage. Um, and then also, uh, let me think, what was the last one? Oh yeah, this is just for the Note 7, but some people just don't like that. You know, if you're trying to draw in here, trying to like draw a picture, it's kind of harder if you're going on the side of it. But honestly, I think that's a pretty minor complaint. Uh, overall, guys, I do love the edge functionality to these phones. Uh, some of it is definitely a bit gimmicky, but for the most part, I think that there are some very helpful things. And I definitely hope that Samsung continues making all the phones with the Edge display because I do think that they're excellent. Alright guys, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments section if you have any questions.